So good afternoon, boys and girls. I'm Mr. Robinette, and I'm going to give you a video lesson. I'm going to facilitate a lesson, and your teachers are going to help with this as we go through our enrichment um, math lesson today. And so our goal for today is um, on the board behind me, and I hope that you can read it. I'll read it to you. It says that we will analyze data and use it to estimate and solve real-world problems. And so today what we want to do is we want to look at some different data. We're going to use that to solve and estimate a real-world problem. But before we get there, I have some instructions for you and your teachers in the class. So um, listen to some things that we'll do during this video. At times, what I will do when you're working together is I will ask the teacher to pause the video. And so uh, one of the first things that we'll need to do to get uh, started today is we will need to get into pairs of two. Now, you're not going to choose your partner, so don't turn around and look at your best friend and say, hey, we're going to be in groups today. What we're going to do is the teacher is going to pair you up in groups of two who works best together, who she feel, or they feel like works best together. So it might be with your best friend or it may be with somebody different. But it's important that you actually work with someone who you can work well together with. And so um, when you get into your groups, the only uh, materials that you will need is a pencil and a paper. And so what I want to do is give the teacher now time. Um, I'm going to give you all 78 seconds to uh, the teacher to get you into your groups. As you go to your groups, you're going to need to, um, you're going to need to, number one, go ahead and have a pencil and paper with you as you get into your groups, okay? If you need help, you will need to raise your hand and ask the teacher for that. You are at a, a conversation level while we're working, so you'll be at a level one. And then our activity today will be actually varied activities. And so um, as you go through and do this, students, you'll need to do this um, at that level, and this is how you get help. If you need to get up or anything, you'll need to raise your hand. So at this time, I'm gonna allow the teacher to get you into groups, and then um, when you get done with that, you can start the video again. So with teachers at this time, you can pause the video so that you can get your group started. So the first thing that we're gonna to do today, students, is we're gonna go through some skills so we can be ready to analyze this data. And so I wanna I wanna go through some skills with you today just very quickly. Excuse the bell. You don't need to change classes though. This is just for what was going on. Okay, so we're gonna analyze some data. Um, I want to go through a skill with you that is um, something that you're probably pretty good at, but we want to touch base on some things. And so we're going to go through some division skills and see how well you divide today. Now I'm going to do this a little bit differently because I'm not going to write it on the board and make you work it like I'm telling you to work it. I'm going to give you the situation and you're going to write it like you need to. And so you and your partner actually may write this down differently. And if they do, if you do, and you come up with the same answer, maybe you want to look at your partner and see how they did it. Maybe it's better that way, and maybe you'll be able to do it better that way. So it's a great way to learn from each other. Y'all are very smart students, and you can learn great from each other. So the first, first question that we're going to have is this. You're going to um, divide 450 by 90. So let me say that again. You're going to divide 450 by 90. So what I want you to do now is I want you to write that down however you need to to work that out and I want you to first just estimate it by looking at it what you think it's going to be. And so at this time uh, teachers you can pause the video while they work through that. Okay so some of you may have written this down several different ways, and um, what I want to do is just show you some basic ways that I've seen it written down, but then give you an opportunity to share if you have another way that you did it. So here's some basic ways. When we say 450 divided by 90, here's some different ways that it could have been written down. And I said 90, but I meant 9, so it's 450 divided by 9. So that's 1. Or you could have written it like this. You may write it like that. Or I've seen it written like this. So 
So there's three different ways that you could have written that problem. And you may have even written it differently. You may have done an area formula. Some of you may have drawn a picture, something like this. So you've got a big old uh, rectangle like that with 450 in it and divided it into nine equal pieces. So some of you may have done it that way. There's four different ways to do that. But you know what? As a student, you may have another way that you did it. And so um, go ahead at this time and share with um, your, your uh, partners. And then if you have a different way that you want to share out to the class, I'm going to give you an opportunity to do that. So teachers, you can pause the video and uh, share out. When you're ready to get started, we'll start with the next one. All right, well, excellent. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on the next one. I have another uh, skill practice for you. And this one is gonna be uh, a little bit different. And what I want you to do first, before you write this thing down, is I want you just to estimate what the answer will be. So again, I'm not gonna write it up here because I want you to write it like you hear it. And so your partner may have given you a different way to do it. So you may be changing the way that you did it from last time. So let's look at this. I want you to work this problem out and uh, actually, I want you to estimate it first. Don't even work the problem out. Just come up with an estimation. So the problem is this. 639 divided by 3. Now, it's a fairly easy problem, but we want to just work on some skills. So 639 divided by 3. Write it down like you want to, but don't actually work it out. I want you to estimate what you think the answer is. So teachers, at this time, you can pause the video while the students catch up to me. Very good, and so um, I see that you've had some estimations. You may share those out with the, with the group and with the class. Um, it's very important that as, as you estimate boys and girls, that actually helps you come up with answers because when you look at something, you wanna estimate what it looks like. And so if I came up with a number that I estimated that is way off base, then I start working it out and it's completely different, then I know something's wrong. Either I'm not a good estimator or I've done something wrong, but it's a great way for you to check your work ahead of time. And so those are some skills that we worked on with division and uh, uh, hopefully you learn from each other. So now I wanna move on into um, our learning objective for today. And again, what we're gonna do is we're gonna analyze data and use it to estimate and solve real world problems. And so the data situation that I'm gonna give you is this. Again, I'm gonna read it to you. I'm going to read the situation to you. Teachers, if you would like, you can go back and, and uh, if the students need, you can just rewind and play the, uh, the situation again. So let me read the situation to you. So in this particular situation, the fifth grade class at Pine Tree Elementary is working on a community service project. They will be sponsoring a craft fair at the Children's Hospital and will teach the patients how to make rock crafts and uh, from rocks that they have collected. So again, Pine Tree Middle School fifth graders are doing a rock, uh, a craft fair, and they're gonna teach the patients how to make rock crafts, okay? So here we go. Here's the problem situation. So there are four classes that are doing this, obviously not the entire group at this time. There are four classes that have been doing this, and they have raised $1,732. So at this time, students, you might want to write stuff like that down, and you'll need to know how to write down $1,732. So there are four classes who have raised $1,732. Now the classes, they're going to divide this money up evenly once they've done it between the four classes. Okay. So now here's what I want you to do with that problem situation. At this time, teachers, if you need to rewind and play that situation again for the students, you can. I did not write the numbers down here because again, students, you may write it differently than I do. So keep those numbers in mind and keep in mind what we're doing. So first thing, go ahead, if teachers, if you need to re rewind and play that situation again, or we'll just keep going. 
Okay, so students, the first thing that I want you to do before you work anything out is just to look at the numbers and again, estimate. I want you to estimate how much you think that these four classes are gonna get. Because today, if you'll remember, we're estimating and solving real world problems. And so let's see if we can estimate it. So just take a look at it and see if you can estimate it. So take your pencil, don't use your pencil. Just estimate it with your partner. So work with your partner and y'all estimate how much you think it will be. So go ahead and estimate that now and go ahead and write down your answer, but don't work it out yet. We will do that in just a second. So teachers, you can pause the video as they go through that estimation. And so students, um, also another thing that you'll do is you'll share out with, the, with uh, the, the other students in the class and with your partner and see how close your estimations came. And so um, as we estimated that, I'm hoping that you came out with some numbers that were fairly good. Again, we were looking at $1,732 and we had four classes that were gonna take that. And so uh, what you should have done is just estimated that out at this time we're gonna work it out and see how well you estimated that out. So I know that that's a fairly easy problem to work out, but I want you to see how close with your estimation you came with actually coming up with those four. So take that number, take the amount of money, $1,732, and divide it into four. Divide it by four, sorry, $1,732, and divide it by four. So again, I'm not writing it down up here, because you have different ways that you're doing it. And so teachers at this time, watch the students and see how they do that. And um, maybe even take a, a moment to discuss anything new that you see that was successful for the students. And so just pause the video, take some time to work through that as a class. That is so great. Now students, I have something, I have some great news actually to share with you. Um, and that is that the classes were so excited about that. The other classes loved it that they, Pine Tree Middle School decided to do it with more classes. And so now what they've done is they've taken it and they have decided eight classes are gonna work on that. Eight classes are actually gonna work on, work on the same project. And what they've done, awesome deal, is that they have actually doubled the amount of money that they made. So they've doubled the amount of money that they made. And there has been eight classes that did this now. And so based on the initial information that I gave you, I want you to just talk with your partner about how much that would be if we doubled the amount of money that we made. And then after you've done that, go ahead and estimate how much money you think each class will have from that. And I want you to compare the estimation that you gave for the first situation with only four classes and estimate and compare that with the amount of money that you raised when you doubled it, doubled the amount of money and sp uh, spread that out with eight classes. And so teachers at this time, when they talk about this, look at the comparison, talk about the comparison and let's talk, just take some time to talk about why you think the amount of money each class made was what it was. I'm not giving you the answer yet, I want you to work it out. But I want you to talk about why, after you compare, why you think this um, came out to be the number that it did. And let's just talk about this great conversation that you can have with your partner and then share out with the class. So go ahead and pause the video, take some time to do that, and then we'll start our next problem situation. Okay, and so our next problem situation that we're going to do, we're going to talk about a new problem here, and um, let me see if I can find this. Okay, so uh, what I want you to do actually um, is we have a new situation here. So this next situation is um, is we have a, a class that is going to take. Hang on, let me find it. Oh, here it is, okay. So in this, this one right here, your enrichment teacher, whoever that teacher is, that particular class, um, and actually, as a matter of fact, at this time, because I don't know the enrichment teacher that you have, I want everybody to take your finger, I want you to poke it up right here like this, and then I want you to take it, and I want you to point it to your enrichment teacher right now. Go ahead and point to your enrichment teacher. 
Excellent, excellent, good. Some of you need to clean your fingernails because I see some stuff in your fingernails. You need to make sure you're pointing good right there. Okay, so your enrichment teacher's class wants to be in charge of the tables where children will have, get this, pet rocks. So they want to be in charge of these pet rocks. So your enrichment teacher has decided to use three colors, the color red, the color yellow, and the color blue to paint the rocks. So again, your enrichment teacher has uh, rocks that are colored red, yellow, and blue. And they want to paint the rocks. And they have actually collected 342 rocks. So in your enrichment class, you've act, just kind of imagine with me, you have been collected 342 rocks. And you've decided to sell these things. And you're going to paint them red, yellow, and blue. Okay? We got that? Again, teachers, if you need to rewind and go back over that situation, you can. So just check with your students now and see if they need to, uh, you need to rewind that situation. And so what we're going to do first is we're going to look at this situation and I want you to estimate, don't write it down, I want you to estimate if I painted those colors red, yellow, and blue, if I did that, then I want you to estimate how many of each color there would be. So again, the situation that we had before, estimate how many of each color there will be. So go ahead and do that with your partner. Take some time. Don't, don't actually work it out. Just estimate. And then write down your answer because we're going to talk about it as a class. So y'all take some time and do that. Teachers, you can pause the video. All right. Well, excellent. And so, um, teachers, if we run out of time during this during this presentation, it's okay. Just uh, kind of keep your eye on the on the uh, clock, and at any time you need to stop it. But I have several activities that hopefully we'll get through. But if we don't, that's okay. We've had some great lesson today. So the next thing I want you to do is go ahead and check your work. So if I were looking at that, and I had 342, let me make sure I got that number right. Yeah. If I had 342 rocks and I had red, yellow, and blue, what would that number be? So let's talk about, with your partner, just take some time and talk about how could I figure it out, um, how could I come up with that number exactly? So with your partner, take some time, talk it out, and then share out with your teacher as your teacher allows you to. So go ahead and pause the video, take some time to do that. All right, teachers, I hope this is working out well for you. I know that pausing the video may be some, uh, kind of hard because I'm pausing a lot, but I'm just trying to give you time for uh, discussion with your kids. And so as y'all came up with that, I know y'all came up with some great answers. I'm hoping that you learn from each other because you are very, very smart students, and you can learn from each other different ways in order to come up with those answers. So here's the deal, though. I need to tell y'all something that's, that's kind of personal about me. And so I'm going I'm to come in real close to the camera because I want to let you know this, but don't tell any of your friends this, okay? Are you ready? Here's something very personal about me. My favorite color is purple. That's right. My favorite color is purple. And I heard some of you say, oh, that's my favorite color too. So excellent. And so since my favorite color is purple, I want to add another color to those. I don't want just red, yellow, and blue. I want purple because you know why? I'm making the video and I get to say that. So I want you to take that same number of rocks. We still have 342 rocks and we're going to pretend like we didn't paint them yet. And I want you to take that 342 rocks, but now we're going to paint them red, yellow, blue, and Mr. Robinette's favorite color is purple. So take some time, estimate, estimate how many rocks of each color we'll have. And take some time and talk about that in your group. Teachers, you can pause the video now as they discuss the estimation and also um, go ahead and discuss uh, that estimation that y'all came up with. I'm hoping actually as you had conversations that when Mr. Robinette threw another color in there that it messed things up a little bit. Um, because when it was 342 and there were three colors, it was easy. It was a nice, neat number. When it was 342 and I stuck my purple in there, 
the numbers got a little bit different and they didn't come out even. And so I'm hoping that you talked about as your class when you estimated that, oh man, I don't know if there'll be this or that. And so uh, take some time and discuss, um, if I did this, if I worked this problem out, 342 of the rocks, and I wanna get four different colors, red, yellow, blue, and purple, if I do that, how many of each rock would I have? And your number is going to come out a little, what I call, wobby job. In other words, they're not great numbers. And so, what are we going to do there? Are we going to take a rock and cut it in half? I think not. So when you estimate and you come up with those numbers and you work it out, talk about with your partner how you can maybe work that out and um, maybe feel like uh, the numbers are, are coming out somewhat nice. So go ahead and talk about that with your group and with your teacher. You can pause the video right now, teachers. <coughs> And so teachers, uh, the one, one thing, I'll just tell you students, the one thing that I was gonna do, I was gonna give you um, this uh, suggestion, because you do have a different number of rocks on those, and so, uh, because my favorite color is purple, I'd have more purple than anything else. But that's just me. You could have any color that you wanted to. So that, that's the one that I would have picked, but you do have to have more of one than the other. The next thing that I would like for you to do, class, is we have gone through some great situations. And the next thing that I want you to do is going to be kind of hard because I want you to figure out an equation. So not just coming up with the, the, the numbers, but I want you to figure out an equation or a picture. And I'm going to let you choose which one of those that you want to do. Because when we analyze data and use it to work to estimate and to solve real world problems, in order to solve them, we have to have some common equation. So I'm going to let you, with your partner, decide, do you want to write an equation out, like write out numbers and letters and stuff like that, or do you want to draw a picture? And so um, I want you to take uh, just a moment, and I do want to give you an example of what this might look like, uh, but I want you to work this out with your partner. So let me just kind of give you an example of what this might look like. And an equation would be something where you have, take the number of 342, okay, I hope you can see that number. Um, I know that my videos uh, may not be great. Let me see if I can make that darker for you. Hope you can see that really good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. So 342, and the equation 342, and then I want you to write the equation that you came up with that helped you figure out that um, when we did red, yellow, and blue, and purple, could you write an equation that could show how you got that? And then, or, or I'm going to give you a choice, or you can draw a picture. And so the picture may look something like this. I don't think you're going to try and draw 342 rocks. You can if you want to, and you'll be here till late tonight. But my thought was just maybe making a pile of rocks. And then just putting a bunch of little dots in there. So those all are a bunch of rocks, and you can put as many rocks on there that you want to. I will tell you that, that, yes, I agree with you, that does look like a chocolate chip cookie. And I'm very hungry right now. So, yeah, it does look like a chocolate chip cookie, but if you'll, you work with me, um, it is just rocks, okay? But if you drew a picture, how would your picture look like if you want to take that and decide out of those four colors, how could you maybe draw a picture and represent that. So I want to give you an opportunity just to do either one of those. Talk with your partner and then you know what, as a group, if y'all can't come up with an answer, if you'll just hold on, I bet you another kid in the class or another group may share out a way to work that out. So y'all take some time, teachers pause the video and y'all work on that. Okay, I just want to remind you teachers, um, I'm, I'm not sure how long this is taking with discussion in your class. So if any time that y'all need to put up or anything like that, you're great. Just stop the video and y'all just move forward. But I wanted to give you another challenge because you know what? You guys are so smart, especially all you students are just really, really smart. And so I want to give you a different challenge. And so here's a challenge I want to give you. This situation with 342 rocks, I want to change it just a little bit. We're going to go back to only red yellow and blue because Mr. Robinette got ruled out and nobody liked purple but him. Let's just say that. So only red, yellow, and blue. What I would like for you to do is I would like for you to write an equation. This is going to be hard. Write an equation or draw a picture 
either one that you want to do, write an equation, draw a picture for a representation of when uh, the colors red and yellow are used, but not blue. So if I still paint my rocks red, yellow, and blue, but I only want a representation of red and yellow. So take some time, think about that. What would the picture look like? What would the equation look like? So take some time. Let's talk about that just a little bit, and I'll give you some direction in just a minute. But y'all talk about that. Pause the video, teachers, and let them have that discussion. And so I've just written down, I hope you can see that. If you can't, I'll just tell you that this right here is red, that's yellow, and that's blue. So I just put those on there for you. And so um, I gave you, out of three colors, I gave you two of them. And so now we incorporate fractions in um, analyzing data to use it to estimate and to solve real world problems. But now we're taking a fraction of it. We're only taking two of the three colors. So now we're throwing a fraction in there because two of the three is what as a fraction? Go ahead and say that out loud to the class. If y'all can come up with that, just say that out loud. What is two of the three? And so I'm hoping that uh, you said two thirds is a fraction. And so if I wrote the equation, I would write two thirds of that number is equal to 342. That may look something like this. And so what I did there was I did the two-thirds, the two-thirds, which is right here, two-thirds, and then I put R for rocks. So two-thirds of the rocks would equal out to be 342. Some of you like equations. Some of you want to do the picture representation of it. So the picture representation, remember there's 342. So out of all these, there's 342 rocks total. However, I only wanted two-thirds of it. There's three parts here, one, two, three, but only two-thirds of it, and so we we'll only pick two of the three. I hope that you can see that okay. What I've done is I've just basically blocked off these two right here. So it'll give me a picture of what only two of the three parts look like. And so you might do a representation like that. So students, what I want you to do now is um, if we have time, I want you to in your group and with your partners, come up with your own problem situation. I want you to work on your own problem situation. But before I do this, I wanna give you a trick that I did. I wanna give you one of my tricks, okay? Here is my trick. Did you know that I'm not smart enough to come up with these numbers off the top of my head? I actually have to have a trick when I create a problem. So I wanna teach you a trick that I did, okay? Uh, the number 342, When I created this problem, I did not just come out with this um, out of anywhere. I'm sorry, let's, uh, oh, let's do this. Let's change it for um, this and let's do, uh, let's do the one we did, the skill practice, 639. Now, when I came up with this number, I'm not smart enough to just go throw a number out there and figure out what the division is. What I did was I said, okay, I want to multiply two numbers together. So I started with the end in mind. I want to multiply two numbers together and then I'm going to come up with this right here. And so um, I said, okay, so what is three times 213? So I said, what is three times 213? And I did that on purpose because what I did was, when I said 3 times 213, then I knew when I came up with 639, then I could say, oh, 
So with the division, it's 639 divided by 3. And I knew that the answer was going to be 213. So take some time in your groups, in your groups, take some time. And I want you to create your own problem situation, your own numbers, your own problem situation. And uh, you can use similar to what I had, or you can create your own fundraiser where you're raising money. And so this is going to be a great time to take it, share it with others, and see if they can work it out. Thank you very much today, students. This was a fun being with you. And um, now you know my favorite color is purple, and y'all enjoy your time.